Okay, for number four, they say if the six solutions of this six-degree polynomial are written in the form a plus bi, where a and b are real numbers, the product of these solutions, a greater than zero, is, is what value? I don't know. Let's take a look at it. And I want to remind you some of the things that you learned in um, pre-calculus, by the way, typically in a trigonometry course. Go to the whiteboard. And you know, kind of, you know, sift, sift my way through it. And the first thing I'd write down is the, the polynomial I'm looking over here is going to be x6 equals minus 64. I got to write this as a complex number. Uh, it's going to be minus 64 plus no i's. All right. Now, the reason for that, I want to kind of visualize the number. And to visualize that number is, you know, get it into this um, a trigonometric form. And the trigonometric form is actually CIS of theta, which stands for cosine of theta plus I sine of theta. And this is like the favorite form of a complex number when you took pre-calculus or trigonometry. So I want to visualize it. And this is the real part. And this is the imaginary part. And what do I notice about this over here? There is no imaginary part to it, so it's just over here somewhere, right? What's the angle there? That's going to be pi. Or if you prefer 180. I actually prefer 180 degrees, by the way, because it's easier for me to do the arithmetic. All right, so the, the theta is 180, all right? The next thing I got to do is... Um, I'm sorry, I forgot to put the R over here. Sorry about that. The R in this one is actually just 64. It's the it's the, um, the the length of that, which is 64 units. Let me write this over here. So it's going to be 64 CIS of um, 180 degrees. All right, and that's what uh, minus 64 equals. Let me just write that down for you so you can you convince that this is a true thing. So minus 64 is equal to 64. And what does CIS stand for? Cosine of 180 degrees. Oops, doesn't look like 180, does it? Plus I sine of 180 degrees. All right, let's go through that. This is 64. What's the cosine of 180? It's minus 1. What's the sine of 180? Is 0. So this makes sense. I get minus 64. All right? Now, granted, it seems like a, a big deal to write that down, but there's a point to it. And the point to it is that it's easy to write down the, um, the, um, the angles, I mean, the, uh, the, the solution to the problem over here. So let's write this over here. So I got x to the 6th power is equal to, I just wrote it before, right? 64. CIS of 180 degrees. And we need to write down the, um, the roots of this over here. And it's, it's actually pretty easy to do. And the way we write that down is typically use it like this W notation. So W naught, W1, there's going to be six of them, by the way. W2, W3, these are the roots. W4, W5, and that's six of them. And I'll write down what the form of it looks like. And what does it look like? It actually looks like it's going to be the 6 through to 64 times CIS. I'm going to tell you what the argument looks like, but it's a very predictable argument. And what's it going to be? It's going to be 180 degrees plus, well, it's going to repeat itself. And I'm going to say every 360 degrees K, where K is the number between 0 and 5, and then we're going to divide through by 6. So what is it going to look like? It's going to look like 30 degrees plus, and it's going to be very nice spacing to it, 60 degree K. All right, every single argument is going to look like that. Well, let's do K is 0. You get 30 degrees. What's the next one going to be? The 6 root of 64 CIS all you're doing is moving up by 60, and that'll be 90 degrees. 6 root of 64. I'll clean these numbers up later, by the way. CIS. Move up 60, it's 150 degrees. 
six root, 64, CIS, move up 60 degrees, you're at 210 degrees now. And again, I prefer degree of measure because it's easier for me to write down it all. So six root, 64, CIS, let's see, 270 now, right? And six root, 64, CIS, 330 degrees. Now, what's nice about these guys, they're really kind of easy to evaluate. And that's what I kind of appreciate about it. So I'm going to start to write them down. And I'll write down the, the first root is going to be, well, the 6 root of 64 is just 2. And then I got this problem over here. I got the CIS of 30. And I know it's going to be like cosine of 30 and uh, sine of 30, right? So I know something to do with 30 degrees, by the way. And I'll put my little triangle down over here. And just remind you, 30 degrees, you know, that's going to be 1, 2, root 3. All right? So what I'm going to do is uh, talk about this. So cosine of 30 degrees is root 3 over 2 plus i. The sine of 30 degrees is 1 over 2. Well, I'm going to write this a little differently. This is root 3 plus i. Well, that's not so bad. Let's do the next one. Let's do w1. Well, the 6 root of 64 is still 2. And now I'm at 150 degrees. And that still is a reference of 30. It still is a reference of 30. And the cosine of, of that uh, in the 150 is going to be... Um, I'm sorry, did I say 150? I'm sorry, I'm at 90. I'm sorry, we're here. I, I, I looked at the wrong one. We're doing 90. Actually, it's easier for me. Uh, the cosine of 90 is 0. And the sine of 90 is going to be um, just 1. So what does this give me? It just gives me uh, 2i. So I'm going to put down 0 plus 2i. Right, let's keep moving. Let's do w2. It's going to be 2. I'm at 150 now. And what's 150 going to be? Well, I'm going to get minus root 3 over 2 plus i times 1 half. And we're doing the 150 now. What do you get there? Minus root 3 plus i. But we're expecting a definite pattern in these things, and I'm hoping to see that pattern as we go along. 2. I'm at 210 now. Well, we're in the uh, third quadrant. The reference is still 30, by the way. And what are you going to get there? Minus root 3 over 2 plus, or, uh, plus i times minus 1 half. Let me simplify that. You get minus root 3 minus i. All right? Let's take a look at it. We got root 3 plus i, 0 plus 2i, minus root 3 plus i, minus 3 minus i. Let's keep moving. Let's do w4 now. We're almost there. Still going to get 2. And I'm at 270 now. And 270, what am I going to get? Well, the cosine of 270, let me just visualize this for you. You get something like this over here. It's going to be 0. And then the sine of 270, if I did that, that's going to be minus 1. What do you get there? You get 0 minus 2i. All right. Let's do the next one, which is w5. You still get 2. And we're at 330 now. So it's in the fourth quadrant, reference of 30 degrees. What are you going to get? Well, let's take a look. You're going to get root 3 over 2. And then you're going to get plus i times minus 1 half. Let's put that down. What are you going to get over there? Root 3 minus i. OK, I want to point out uh, we're getting um, these are complex roots to a real coefficient polynomial. We expect to see them in conjugate pair, by the way. So if I see a 3 plus i, I'm sorry, root 3 plus i, I would expect to see a root 3 minus i. If I see a 0 plus 2i, I would expect to see a 0 minus 2i. If I see minus root 3 plus i, I would expect to see minus 3 minus i, right? Now, by the way, I don't think that was our question. So someone says, you know, what is our question? I got to go back and read it. It says, if the six solutions of this thing are written in the form a plus bi, I just did that, by the way, where a and b are real numbers, the product of these solutions, um, let me read that right, by the way, where a is greater than zero. 
uh, let's put this down. So the, the form they're looking at is A greater than zero. Put this over here, A greater than zero. And the form of these complex numbers is A plus BI. So let's take a look at it, where A is greater than zero, right here, and right here. All right? So let's read that. It says, where A and B are real numbers, the product of these solutions with A greater than zero is what value? Well, let's write this down. So it's going to be root 3 plus I, root 3 minus I. And what does that give you? Well, that gives you 3 minus I squared. What's I squared? I squared is minus 1. So 3 minus minus 1 is going to be 3 plus 1, which is going to be the number 4. And we're done. Thank you.